Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell this might be our first video together? <laughs> We're gonna keep her here. <laughs> but Jesse did come and see the movie with me. An early, early screening of Simon. Or really, it's Love, love Simon. Love Simon, yeah. What is your like, if you could pick one word to like summarize, summarize it, the love of this book. Adorable. Like it's, one word. it's, adorable. it's adorable. It's so cute. And, it, and I mean, the, the book is pretty adorable. Like I will say the movie gave me the same feels as the book did, but like by the end of it, and of course, like. You know, not everything in the book can be in the movie, and not everything in the movie came directly from the book. But like, same feels. Yeah. Like it's, it's very, very close. And it's been a while since I've read it, and I think it's been a while since you've read it. Oh yeah, it's been a couple years. Like I think I read it as soon as this book had come out. I was bad and didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it, but there were some things later that I thought about. I was like, oh, that wasn't in the movie, and that wasn't in the movie. Yeah. But it wasn't anything super pivotal that I felt like I was missing. Right. Like, Although except the the naughty scene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which the only reason I remember that one, A, it's a great scene. But um we did um a dare uh during Decatur Book Festival's uh Truth or Dare game one year. The first year actually. Yeah. Uh that had to do with some oh it was Adam, Adam Silvera. Silvera. <laughs> yeah. He had to read the scene and um substitute the naughty words for or Oreos. Oreos and it was yeah, we have for, to find for, this. for Oreos or for cookies or something like that. Yeah. We have to find this yeah. video and show you guys because it's really funny. But um yeah, and the characters were so good and the actors were so good. Yeah. And everything was freaking adorable. And I don't think it's been a while that I have seen a movie that I love so much that I want to go see it again and again and again yeah, and, like, again, like and again, was, and again and again and again and again. I was telling you like <laughs> I want to see it again so badly and I'm really really sad that it's not out yet. I know we can't just we can like just go to the movies go. and go watch it because it's adorable. Like we were talking about it and it definitely feels like kind of another like Mean Girls or Easy A, like very like... Like almost like a cult yeah, movie. Yeah, like yeah. funny, relatable high school teen movie that... Yeah. that like, it's a lot really of great one-liner. Yes. Very quotable. It's very, very quotable. quotable. And also I think it's so important to have a movie like this right now for teenagers and younger people that are dealing with, you know, yeah. coming out. <clears throat> and um how to deal that with your friends as well, you know? Yeah. So I thought that was, the book is really great, but the movie is really good too. So I hope that a lot of people go see the movie, then haven't yeah. read the book, and then go read the book, and vice versa. If you have seen uh, or read the book, yeah. then you will go see the movie. And Becky was there at the screening. It is and so she's cute. also adorable. Yeah, if you guys have not met Becky. <laughs> she's the cutest. She is like the level of cuteness of a koala bear. <laughs> and just so sweet and um she was, I mean, she was very excited to be like she said she had already seen see, this is what's her third before, time and then she was just like really excited to see it again which i mean i share her excitement it was so good like when you describe a movie and say oh that movie is cute a lot of people will say huh oh, whatever like don't care for it or whatever but i think this is such a high compliment for it that I yeah. think that in its cuteness I think people could relate to it the most. Yeah, like it's it's very relatable and like so it doesn't school. it doesn't pander either. Like it's not yeah. like oh we're trying to make high schoolers look cool. Like like no, like it's just like that's how high schools are. Like there's a lot of like awkwardness in it that's so that's like yeah. you're cringing but you also totally understand and you're like I know how that feels in that moment. Yeah. Um you, like even if you're not going exactly going through exactly what Simon is going through, like you're like, oh, I totally understand what that is like. Absolutely. Yeah. Because we've all been somewhat awkward, you know. Oh, I mean, there's no like... there's there's no person in life who hasn't been awkward. <laughs> right. Especially in high school. Yeah. So what were you like in high school? I we went. So by the way, we went to the same high school. We're about a year. <laughs> we're a year apart. You're yeah. a year. You were a year above me. I was. I'm a she's little. Old, older. She's older than me. Um, 
not that much humor. <laughs> yeah. I was also not the biggest social butterfly. I mean, yeah. Let me tell you. I mean, how I was in high school was exactly like I was not social. I had my friend group. Oh, I liked yeah. hanging out with them. Like I like just hang out with them. Like I didn't love like going to parties. Which makes me think that Simon and his friends are like really cool because they go to like all the they parties. They go to parties. And I was like, I don't think, I think I only went to like one or two parties. And even then I was like, this is overwhelming. I must leave. Yeah. What was your like favorite scene? My favorite scene? Favoritest. I don't know if it's a specific scene. Like I loved any interaction that Simon had with his dad. Cause like, his dad oh, yeah. was so, like, his dad, like, when you immediately meet him, is so just, like, alpha male, macho dad. Like, he's like a dude's sports. dude. Like, he's a dude's dude. Yeah. But then he does all these things that are so, Cringy. like, lame dadness. Yeah. Like, like at Awkward. one point, he's, like, trying to put up lights, and he, like, knocks on Simon's window, and he's like, hey, buddy, can you help me with the lights? And it's like, why wouldn't you just go knock on his door like a normal right. person? Also, or, like, he makes jokes about him, like, masturbating and stuff, and I'm yes. like, oh, my God, if my parents and, and ever... He, and he cries. Like, <laughs> the dad cries at everything. Like, like he's going, he's making a video for his wife's anniversary, and Simon is helping him, and he's just sobbing as he's making it, looking at, like, video footage of their family. So it, it was just, like, funny, like... How they had presented him. What was your favorite scene? Um, my favorite scene was, it's not necessarily in the book, which is why I think it was really interesting how they did it. And they hint at it in the trailer, so I feel like it's not necessarily spoilery. But the montage of um, Simon basically saying like, why do only gay people have to come out? I feel like oh. everyone should come out. And then That's you really like good. like all of his friends come out to their parents. It's as, freaking hilarious. As, as straight and, and it's like you know like his his friends saying you know like Leah and <coughs> Abby. Abby. Oh, Abby's parents were really yeah, funny. and Nick and like and like or her Abby's mom. hurts her mom it's and her like mom, yeah. like being like I like boys and her mom being like <laughs> <laughs> like like just crying about it, which I don't know. Like maybe I mean maybe even parents of straight young women do also cry once girls are like, I like boys, and they're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like my dad kind of did You can that date only when you're 30. Yeah, you can date when you're 30. Dad. <laughs> We're super excited for this, and you should be too. Yeah, so, so you will have fun at this movie, and everyone should go see it, and after you see it, you should then go see it again. And then come tell us what you thought. Yeah. Because we would love to know. Yep. <laughs>